Hi, Walter. Hello. Hello. Uh, we are here today to look at a very uh, special bike, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we already know you from a video we made last year about the opening of uh, Bikepacking Belgium. Yeah. So I might be a bit unrecognizable. Yeah. You yeah. changed a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No beard anymore. <laughs> no beard. Less hairy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if if people want to uh, know the story about you and how did how you get how you got in Antwerp, yeah. uh, they can check out that video. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but today we're going to have a look at this very special bike. Okay. It has a name, I think. It's the Big Fat Dummy from Shirley. Okay. Uh, it's the cargo bike, fat bike from uh, Shirley. From Shirley, okay. So you told me that there are also uh, other... Um, yeah. they, they make three versions of the cargo bike. Mm -hmm. There's the, the, the basic version, the Big Dummy. Uh, then there's the Big Easy, that's the electric version of the Big Dummy. Mm -hmm. And then there's the fat bike... Uh, yeah, version. Yeah, with the really fat, fat tires. Yes. Yeah. This is the maximum tire that will fit in this bike. In so. that bike. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It looks very impressioned, I must say. Yeah. Uh, not really made for the city, I think. No, definitely no. not. No. Uh, so you have to s bicycle on beaches and. Uh, uh, actually, the desert or yeah. tundra. Uh, yeah. So it's a, is it a kind of mix between a, a bike packing bike and a cargo bike? It's, or? it's actually uh, a cargo bike. Yeah, uh, it's like uh, a long tail bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you could also bring your kids with it to school. If, yeah. 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 If yeah. you're very adventurous. And living in the snow. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, let's have a look at the bike in, okay. in more detail. Okay. Uh, we'll start in the front okay. and then we go backwards and then yeah. you can tell us about uh, yeah. what's What's all the stuff uh, okay. on the bike? Okay. So, okay. So let's start in front with the with the the, the, the rims and the yes. tires. Uh, there are uh, carbon rims, mm -hmm. hand-built wheels. Uh, I've built them myself with a, a Dynamo hub from uh, uh, Son Schmidt mm -hmm. Originale Naben Dynamo. Okay. Uh, Schwalbe uh, Jumbo Jim tires. That's yeah. the the. the Basically, the fattest tire that will fit. Uh -huh. um, I found some fenders online mm -hmm. uh, because I, I, yeah, I like to stay clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, I understand that. The uh, the the bike is a little bit too small for me, so mm -hmm. to correct that, I I put on a big drop yeah. bar, a uh, wide drop bar, the yeah. widest I yeah. know from mm -hmm. Curve. Okay. Um, and uh, the shifter doesn't work. Okay. Because there's a twist shifter. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's just window dressing that one. Uh, well, yeah. it, 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 the brakes do work. <laughs> okay. So but you don't use the shifter system. No. 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 I use okay. the shifter for the, the roll off. Uh huh. It's a shifter from Gilbertou. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the few shifters that will fit around the drop bar. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, that's interesting. And then, yeah, there's a roll of at the roll back. Off, yeah, of course. Okay. Yes. So when you said the rims were uh, made of uh, carbon. carbon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you would take uh, a steel rim of that size, it would uh, weigh steel, a lot. Uh, uh, basically, you would choose aluminum or, or aluminum. Alum yeah. Al aluminium. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, there are not that many choices in strong, light aluminum rims. Yeah. So okay. Uh, I found these carbon rims. Uh -huh. uh, uh, they should ho hold up until up to 200 kilos. Okay. Yeah. So that's quite a lot, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and like I told, the bike is a little bit too small for me, so mm -hmm. I'd had I had to have a custom seat post made. Okay. Uh, because it's yeah. I needed a really yeah. long seat post. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah. we talked already about the handlebar. Yeah. Uh, what's the little uh, back? Uh, there, uh, there's my uh, charger inside. So okay. uh, my hub dynamo mm -hmm. uh, charges my charger, uh, charger, and then I can uh, charge my phone or my GPS. Or yeah. Okay. My lights. Yeah. My so it's, uh, they are uh, fixed lights, eh? yeah. Uh, this one and that one are fixed, uh -huh. and this is just a spare. An extra spare. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And what brand of 
light, is it? Uh, it's uh, Schmidt original, uh, Nabe Dynamo, uh, it's yeah. Son. Uh, so it's a complete set. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then we go, yeah, to the, the crank and the pedals. Is that yeah. something special? Uh, the cranks are from Hope. Mm -hmm. uh, because I wanted to mount uh, a stainless steel chainring. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there aren't that many fat bike uh, crank sets that could mount this uh, stainless steel chainring. It's mm -hmm. just very durable uh, chainring. So yeah. from uh, ID works. Yeah. Or it works. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I had to uh, yeah, find a crank set that could work. Yeah. Uh, the pedals are from uh, MKS. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the solution, uh, one yeah. side, one side clipless yes. and the other side uh, flat, flat pedal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, normally I would prefer um, uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> a, a no, uh, normal clipless pedal, mm -hmm. um, but since this bike is also a little bit for touring and having fun in the city. Yeah, <laughs> so you, you, you choose for both. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> okay. <coughs> So then uh, you have, we also have the, the rack system for uh, yeah. for the <coughs> bike packing bags. Uh, I, well, for normal bike touring bags. bags yeah. <coughs> I uh, I thought I needed more cargo uh, space. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even more. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's go to the back. So it has a very large uh, luggage rack. Yes. Yeah. That's that comes with the bike, yes. the standard? The, the bags and the rack and everything comes with uh, the bike. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's quite easy to remove the whole uh, system. rack system. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, Walter. So um, um, we also we forgot that a little bit, <laughs> the, the <back laughs> so we'll put that somewhere in yeah. between yeah. in the video. Uh, you showed me the bags, eh? yeah. so uh, now they are already looking quite big yes. and you can store a lot of, yeah. of stuff in it, yeah. but you can make them even bigger, you told me, yeah. So, and you would like to demonstrate okay. that to us. Yeah, so sure. Let's have a look. So, if you open them. Yeah. You can use them as a normal bag. Uh -huh. uh, there's also uh, a small in internal bag, uh -huh. which is yeah, already uh, yeah. as big as a, as a normal, normal uh, yeah. rear bag. Mm -hmm. um, but you can fold this open yeah. and put something really big inside, like uh -huh. uh, I have this frame set here. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> it should fit <laughs> okay. quite easy. Yeah. So, yeah. so we, you can haul a lot of big and s stuff. Yeah. Uh, with these bags. Yeah. So and are these bags really made for this bike yes. or? They, yeah. They they come together with the uh, the whole frame set and the yeah. rear rear rack. And yeah. Uh, it's a complete package. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and do you know that there exists for other long tail bikes bags that are more or less the same? Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, the original uh, designer for this kind of uh, racks and bags is mm -hmm. Extra Cycle. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, Extra Cycle makes the same rear rack as the normal big dummy. Mm -hmm. The big fat dummy is a little bit longer, so okay. you cannot fit all the the uh, additional options like the uh, footrest for children. Uh -huh. Uh, the big fat dummy is a little bit strange in that they made it a little bit too long. Okay. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I had to mount uh, a little plate here because uh, the mud was just kept dropping on my rear light. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's like a kind of extra fender. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> there are no fenders long enough, and uh, a spare part of fender didn't work because the curve would uh, uh -huh. hit the tire. Yeah. So it's yeah. A little bit uh, yeah. temporarily uh, yeah. until I find a better a solution. Bit, yeah, yeah. Okay. <coughs> so and then let's get. Can you move the bags a little bit that we can check uh, out the well the hub? Yeah, they are a little bit strapped to okay. the bike. Okay. 
so we here we see the role of the role of a hub and then the chain tensioner yes yeah yeah it's a very long chain yes right? yeah that's why the chain tensioner is is no it's store. because <coughs> it's a roll off and mm -hmm. uh, there's no uh, you cannot move the rear wheel so yeah to oh, tension yeah. Okay. The, the chain to give you the need tension a, yeah so you need that the chain tensioner yeah that, yeah yeah okay Good. So um, this is your latest project? Uh, yeah, this is my latest yeah. CD project. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so and is there something else in the pipeline coming? Uh, not, not really, uh, uh, no, no concrete plans yeah. yet. Yeah, okay. Uh, busy with the shop, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Water. You're welcome.